this question is tricky because it involves multiple skills all at once. So 4.90 grams of pure sulfuric acid was dissolved in water. The resulting volume was 200 centimetres cubed. 20.7 centimetres cubed of this solution was found on titration to completely neutralise 10 centimetres cubed of sodium hydroxide solution. Calculate the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution. First thing we need is a balanced equation. Chances are they will give you this in the exam, but this equation is not too hard to work out. So if they're really, really testing you, don't expect them to give you the equation. Now we need to work out what information we already have. So to break down large wordy questions, just make a little table at the side and pick out the information that you have. So volume, we uh, volume of acid we had that was used in the titration was 20.7. Uh, 20 Concentration of acid was 4.9 grams in 200 centimetres cubed. Concentration of sodium hydroxide is the bit we're trying to work out and the volume of sodium hydroxide was 10.0 centimetres cubed. And this is where the first tricky bit comes in because we need to work out our concentration of um, sulfuric acid. First thing we need to do is to work out the MR of sulfuric acid. We have two hydrogens which weigh 1 plus sulfur which weighs 32 plus 4 oxygens which weigh 16 giving us a total MR of 98 for sulfuric acid. To work out the concentration and you need to remember these equations because they do not give them to you in the exam. To work out the concentration mass over MR equals concentration. So we have 4.9, which is the number of grams from the question, divided by 98, which is the MR that we've just worked out, gives us 0 0.05 moles. And remember, that is not our concentration yet because that was in 200 centimetres cubed. So to turn it into our concentration, we need to times it by 5 because 200 times 5 is 1,000. We want our concentrations in litres. So 0 0.05 times 5 equals 0 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed. So now we know our concentration of our acid is 0 0.25. Five. Now we can go and do our titration calculation. Um, it's getting very busy on here. I'll just draw a line down there to make it a bit easier for us to see. So moles equals conch times volume. Again, something they do not give you in the exam, so you have to learn it for yourself. Our concentration, we've just worked that out as 0 0.25. Our volume of our acid was 20.07, but we want this to be um, in decimeters because that's what we need it to be, and so we need to divide that by a thousand, which gives us 0 0.00. 5175 moles of acid used in this concentration. Now, if we have a look at our equation up here, you will see that we have two moles of alkali making one mole of acid. So our moles of acid are 0 0.005175. We need to times that by 2 to find the number of moles used. So times 2, that is going to give us 0 0.01035 moles of acid um, for our alkali. Now we are looking for the concentration. So what we need to do is again, moles equals conch 
times volume. We know our moles because we just started that out, 0 0.0103. Um, our concentration is the bit that we are looking for. Our volume is 10 from the question, but remember we need it in decimeters cubed, so we need to divide that by a thousand. So what we end up with is 0 0.01035 divided by 0 0.01. That is going to equal x. Sorting that out, that is going to give us a concentration of 1.03. Five moles per decimeter cubed. That is a particularly hard and nasty question because it does involve so many different things in there. But if you want to begin in the top grades, you unfortunately need to be able to do these questions.